So all children in a preschool are competent and capable. Learning in a preschool environment is, is everywhere. The challenge I faced as a leader was how we were thinking about and responding to numeracy in our preschool. One assumption that I really wanted to confront was that numeracy occurs and is um, more fully supported when we set up a specific maths activity um, on a table or we actually as an educator lead an activity in, a, in group time. The challenge for our team was to collectively find a variety of ways to provide children with those rich and meaningful and transferable numeracy experiences in our environment. We had to learn how to create those numeracy rich environments that extended the children and their problem solving skills. We had to think about the best way of using the preschool numeracy indicators. The question we had was, could we do this authentically in a play-based environment? And the answer to that was, yes, of course we could. On reflection against the principles and practices of the early years learning framework, we identified the gaps in our practices and we knew we had to deliberately challenge our thinking about how we were going to develop that deeper understanding of numeracy using the indicators in our preschool environment and in the context of our rich play-based curriculum that we provide. For me as a leader, this meant challenging the status quo of how things had always been done at the preschool. And to do this, um, I had to focus on creating that trust between our staff team in order for us to safely and respectfully challenge our beliefs and to make that plan to initiate the change. As with any cultural change, it starts with a conversation. But first, I had to understand what the um, numeracy indicators were myself and how they connected to the early years learning fr framework, how they connected to our play-based curriculum. From there, I um, facilitate, facilitated our staff team in conversations as part of our rigorous learning analysis and learning design. Um, this dialogue provided us with the opportunities to find shared meanings and understandings about what we were noticing in our environment, what we were noticing about the learning and where um, we were using the indicators, where we could see the indicators being used with the children. Um, as a staff team we discovered that through the joint evaluation of our documented uh, observations of children and their learning, um, that we were providing that rich play-based environment both inside and out and the rich play-based environment was enhancing the opportunities for the children to, to notice, to compare, to test their theories, to ask questions and to problem solve. The reassuring thing we found um, in this evidence was that play is a child's research of their world. It's the literacy and the numeracy in action every day. Their daily wanderings and their daily exploration is the child's voice. So which one do you think had the least? Which one was the least popular? We were finding that if we listened to the child's voice that we could connect our attention to theirs and from this proximal place we could effectively scaffold their learning. We have reinforced the understanding that numeracy does not solely exist in a group activity or a table activity. It's about creating that really rich play-based learning environment. Um, you know, where those numeracy possibilities are endless and everywhere in the environment and more importantly that they are there for every child and every child's individual learning. Why do ladybugs have spots? Harry, do you have an answer? Um, because they can die sometimes. As a leader, I see the value in investing and creating that culture that is open to inquiring into our beliefs and our practice. For us, there's been a really noticeable shift in our pedagogy to one that supports children to socially construct their learning in numeracy. We really do know that we're on the right track because our data shows a high level of involvement from all of our children in numeracy and maths. Not just some, but all of the children at the preschool.